Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Anna Stark, um, Stark Casting, and this is Rudy. And uh, Rudy and me work together. So, Anna, how did you get into casting? Uh, I kind of got into casting, uh, I don't know, in a bit of a, just through friends really. I was helping a director I know um, called Zach Ove, who was a filmmaker and a photographer and I was kind of PAing him to kind of get his life in order and all of this kind of thing. I think Rudy was about four at the time and I kind of wanted to find a, a new job that um, I was able to kind of juggle being a parent and working at the same time and basically he was working at a production company called Great Guns and I went in there with him and they were um, in the middle of a production um, for Greenpeace commercial and they desperately were trying to find loads of kids to be in the ad and it was a charity job and I said oh well why don't you just give me a Polaroid camera and I'm, we were always at the park with each other and I said I'll just go and get loads of kids and photograph Rudy's friends because it was that kind of age group anyway got loads of kids I'm really daughter, by the way yes yeah. she's my daughter yeah, yeah. Oh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> exactly and um, got loads of kids and then they'd also given the main feature photo Hubbard to find uh, Mother Earth. And I just said, oh, okay, well, maybe I could have a go at doing that. But, um, and they said, oh, we've got all these books called Spotlight. And I didn't even know what Spotlight was, that it kind of housed all the actors um, in it. And so they gave me a whole pile of books and I just spent days just looking through women. But I equally said to them, if she was gonna be Mother Earth, I just think that she should be either a size 14 and also a bit, bit ethnically ambiguous that you didn't really know where she was in the world because it seemed, I don't know, it didn't seem right to me that Mother Earth would be white to be fair. Um, anywho, and she had to be naked. So I actually persuaded loads of actors to come and see me, be naked. And um, yeah, I did a really good job and they were super happy with it. Then ended up getting more jobs um, at Great Guns, which was really good. And then I also met up with a producer called Amy Appleton, who was at that time over at Tony Kay's. And Tony Kay was a really big director at that time, but really it was quite challenging to work with because he only ever used to work with real people. So if he wanted, you know, like a, a, a drug addict, you actually physically had to go and find them. But it was just great opportunity to just be um, on the ground finding people. And um, yeah, I really loved it because I'm quite good with people and quite chatty and also it just really worked well to like work for like quite hard for a month and then maybe have a few weeks off. So I was able to, you know, cook really better dinners and collect it from nursery and all of that kind of thing. And then just started to work with more producers and directors and um, yeah, I guess it's just all about your personal relationships with people and um yeah and then over the years i kind of never worked for another cast and director i've always just kind of worked for myself and then i you know the bigger rudy got when you were probably early teens i then had to do quite a big job for tfl for road safety and then ended up getting rudy and her mates all involved but in actual fact rudy probably cast most of that commercial herself um that was over at gorgeous <laughs> Yeah, and so we got all her mates in it, and that actually won loads of awards. Um, and um, yeah, so you've always helped out, haven't you, to find people, mm. whatever. Yeah, bits and bobs I can help you with. Now we work together, which is great. Yeah, and then Rudy came on board with us about, I don't know, four years ago, something Full like Full time, but I've been kind of doing freelance things for you from before, haven't I? You've yeah. Been for certain jobs, haven't I? Yeah. So I guess the key thing in our job is it's all about relationships i guess first off it's about me personally getting the right team to help out on the job um and find we i do a lot of street casting so i've always over the years just tried to find the right person to go out and street cast for us you know so you kind of have to infiltrate scenes and you know managing um your team is really important um, and also just managing the producer and director's expectations. So it's quite, a, I did just think you have to have quite a lot of um, people skills and you just have to nurture those relationships really because you're only ever as good as your last job. 
you know, you can think that you're really great, you've done a really fantastic job and it's all going well, but then the next job can be very, very challenging and um, can become very difficult, can't find the right people. So it's just managing expectations. Um, so I would say people wanting to get into it, I think, um, of course, it's really great to maybe work, find, you know, try and assist a casting director, um, but also find out what avenue you, what part of casting you want to go into, because some people just want to do film and drama. So that's really learning a lot about, um, you know, meeting lots of different agents, understanding, you know, their, you know, their clients, who they have, how to get the best talent for that. Um, of course, then street casting is a whole other, you know, part of casting. Um, but it's fun. Do you like working in casting, Rudy? Really? Yeah, I like working for you. <laughs> so you're nice. And what, what kind of jobs do you like doing? Uh, street casting, yeah. social media, real people. Yeah. And everything's changed quite over the last few years, I have to say, where we used to just go out with a Polaroid camera and snap people on the street and used to, used to write down their names. Um, now we just do a lot of it. We do quite a lot of it online, don't we? Yeah. So then we do flyers that are really eye-catching um, so people see themselves. And it's, um, yeah, you just have to tr treat each job as its own unit and just find, you know, the best way to fulfill the, their briefs. Yes, all good. And that's us at Start Casting. Yay! <laughs>